she was a phenomenal kid. She was a happy little girl. She was a helpful little girl. She was a wonderful little girl. It's the guilt of the parent, you know, that you think you're able to protect them and keep them safe and you just have no control over that. It's a real rude awakening. I, I wanted to be dead for a couple of years and wanted to die, you know, and so I judge, that's what I try to tell her. You can't sit idle, what she's been doing. It's been bad. For months, um, I was fixated on that room. And um, at one point, I finally talked to the detective that was in charge of the case. And I asked him, I said, can I go in the house? I need to go in the house. And um, he made arrangements for me to go in before they <clears throat> tore it down. And when I went up in that room, it was just like she described, exactly like she described. And I told him, I said, is that where, that's where she was lying, right? On the floor. And I would watch him leave for work. And as soon as he walked out the door, he'd look over at the house. Kids would leave for school, look over at the house. Ooh. About living here. Oh. And it was always there. And then when they knocked the house down, you know, it was so that we wouldn't have to look at that house anymore. It was still there. House will always be there. I used to be able to go, I don't even go in the park anymore. You know, I, I, I'm very grateful for what they did. The Rotary, um, you know, uh, took on the job of, um, you know, raising money to get the house knocked down and put the park in. And I'm very grateful for that. But, you know, in my mind's eye, it's always there. It's always there. You know, what do you think is going to happen to him? And she said, like, I asked the priest, like, our priest came over, you know, from my church. I never knew him until this happened. But, you know, I said, and he said, oh, well, you know, if he's, if he's a repentant, God will forgive him. I didn't want to hear that, you know. See you later, buddy. And I said to my sister, I said, well, she goes, I don't think about him. I said, what do you mean, Pat? And she said, I don't think about him. She said, that I, she goes, when he dies, she goes, I feel like his soul is going to be extinguished. She goes, I don't think about him at all. And I liked that. And I thought he took so much from us that I wasn't going to let him take any more. And I don't think about him at all.